Welcome guys, in today's video I'm looking into the spray performance of the new assault rifle, the Barrel M762, and going to answer the following questions. How does the recoil of the Barrel M762 compare to the other assault rifles? What grip is the best for spraying? And ultimately, find out how to optimally spray with the Barrel M762. Let's start with the first spray test without any attachments to get the base performance of the weapon using the same wall and distance to the wall as I've done in my previous recoil tests. Ok, so there's simply too much vertical recoil to do the test here. So let's put a compensator on the weapon and do this again. Again, the pattern does not fit the wall due to the high recoil, but I need it to fit here in order to do an accurate comparison. I tested all other assault rifles using a compensator and a half grip when applicable. All tests except the one for the QBZ has been done on this wall, so hopefully the vertical recoil reduction from the half grip will be enough to fit the pattern onto this wall. The pattern just fits, however due to how perspective works, we will get a slight inaccuracy in the results when shooting this high. Nevertheless, we've got what we need for the comparison. Because we're going to compare the barrel with all other assault rifles. And not unexpectedly, the barrel M762 has the highest vertical recoil of them all. This is the reason a lot of people already don't like this gun. But what have we really learned here? The gun has a higher recoil than the AKM when standing, and due to the faster rate of fire, it will also climb faster. This makes it very difficult to control, so maybe we're not supposed to be standing when spraying. Because crouching reduces recoil about 16%, which will vary from weapon to weapon for balancing purposes. So now that we know that we should always be crouching when spraying with the barrel M7, it's time to find out what grip is the best one for this gun. All of the tests will be done while crouched and while using a compensator. And as you can see, now the no grip test fit perfectly on the wall, which is a requirement in order for me to be able to lock the results. I performed all of these tests for all of the grips and here are the results. So the no grip performance is quite terrible, with a lot of horizontal recoil. The angle grip does help this and especially the first bullets perform extremely well when using the angled. But when using the vertical grip, the vertical recoil significantly goes down. It drops all the way down to a completely manageable level. This is definitely controllable. The thumb grip has that sweet ADS bonus speed, but the performance when spraying is quite good too. The vertical recoil is reduced, however it's still much higher than that of the vertical grip. The half grip has always won the spray test in the past and still does perform very well by having a big impact on the vertical recoil, but it does not beat the vertical grip. Lastly, the light grip has no effect on the vertical recoil, but seems to perform slightly better than the angled. But why is this? Why is it that the angle, despite having the biggest reduction in the horizontal recoil, always seem to disappoint? I think the reason is that it has less changes in horizontal recoil direction, which often means that the horizontal recoil just keeps moving in one direction. But still, this does not change the fact that the barrel M762 has an extreme level of vertical recoil and that the clear recommendation based on all of these tests is to use the vertical grip and spray while crouched. If you only fire a maximum of 5-6 to six bullets at a time, then you will also stay in the low horizontal recoil area. Do this and you should absolutely be able to control this gun and take down your enemies with ease. Now that's all for this video guys, I'm going to look into the Barrel M7 more closely in the future. This was spray and grip performance, I will also be checking out this single tap, burst performance and multiple other aspects of the gun. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, to stay updated on the coming videos, and I'll see you guys next time.